All right, 943 now. Many economists are forecasting a recession in 2023, which makes it all the more important right now to get those personal finances in order and not overspending. Hard to do sometimes as we say hello to Christmas, but we need to set some New Year's resolutions. Our certified financial educator and author of the book, How Money Works, Tom Matthews, joining us this morning. Good morning, Tom. How's it going? Going great. Thanks, Stefano. Hey, good to have you on here. So here we are, just a couple of days before Christmas. How many times have we all think, well, maybe I'll just get one more gift or one more thing to st uh, put in the, st uh, the stocking? All these kinds right. of ways you could just sort of needlessly spend money, and then suddenly here it is the new year and potential recession looming. What's the first thing we should do these last few days getting up to Christmas? Well, the first thing you need to do is realize this is a different year than many of us have ever experienced in our lifetime with inflation as high as it is and, and the interest rates on credit cards as high as they are. If you go a little crazy at Christmas, and not only are you paying higher prices, but, but if you put it on a credit card and you don't pay it off, then you're getting kind of zammed twice. So your book, How Money Works, is there something we need to know about how we should be spending or maybe changing the way we're spending our money so that we're not losing more with those higher interest rates? Well, once you understand the basics of money, then, then it's a whole different world for you economically. And this is not taught in schools. And so it's one of the reasons we wrote this book is to, to give people the foundation to build a financial education around. And financial education is what leads to financial literacy which helps you go into any goal you set, whether it's starting off a new year well or, or finishing a, a Christmas season well when it comes to your finances. All right, so in terms of achieving your financial goals, what's the one thing we should do starting the brand new year to make sure we're on the right path before those interest rates really pop? Well, you know, it's kind of like your, all your New Year's resolutions. You know, you want to you wanna get in better shape or lose weight or stop smoking or something. And if you want to get your finances in order, our best advice is to get with a financial professional and, and have them take you through some of the steps because it really is something that's, that's just critical to your finances. A lot of folks are doing side hustles now, finding a way to take maybe a second job, that get a little pop of extra money in there, not just for the holidays, but for some folks it's becoming a, a real uh, seven day a week thing, right? We know the most successful people in the world all have multiple streams of income. And if you're gonna be successful in today's world, you can't just have a nine to five job like you used to be able to. Uh, you're gonna have to do something spare time or part time or, or find some problem to solve so you can help people to get some, some problem resolved and, and give yourself a chance to make some money. Yeah, I wonder, we have so many, how many times you've been to a restaurant or to a business and their hours are reduced or there's a long wait at a restaurant because they simply don't have anybody working. Uh, for the folks who aren't taking advantage of some of the higher incomes that are out there right now, they've raised the rates for a lot of folks working, but many folks still aren't working. This is going to come crashing down coming into 2023. Well, it really is. And uh, you, you won't have any choice. You know, the world says what each job is worth. And if you have one of those jobs and you'd like to make more, you really got to consider uh, some kind of an entrepreneurial venture to be able to move yourself forward. Hey, Tom, where can we find your book, How Money Works? You can go to howmoneyworks.com and uh, you can get one there or it's uh, available in, on, on Amazon, and pretty much everywhere. Appreciate it, sir. Hope you have a Merry Christmas. Hope you sell a lot of books too. That'll be a great Christmas for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, Tom, thanks. All right, uh, let's see, 946. Our money's on a pretty cold forecast for the weekend. I think you can almost guarantee that one here, Ethan, for the weekend. Yeah, 